Hi, it's Matt with the Linda McGuire team back for our monthly market update. So this month I want to start by taking a look at months of inventory um, and for those that don't know months of inventory is a good indication of whether we're in a buyer's market, a neutral market or a seller's market. Um, and how this is calculated is take a look at the active listings in the market and if there were no new listings to hit the market, how many months would it take for the active listings to all sell? So anywhere from one to four months is a seller's market because there's not a lot of inventory, they would sell out in one to four months. Anything between four and six is considered a balanced market and anything from six and up is a buyer's market because there's lots of supply out there and lots of homes to choose from. Right now, well in September of 2020, the months of inventory in Burlington was 0.9. So it's an extremely strong seller's market right now. And that's pretty uh, on par with what we've been seeing all of 2020 is that lack of supply and the strong seller's market. So next we'll take a look at the two variables that are used to calculate months of inventory. So the first is sales activity or the demand. Um, it seemed like August was a little bit slow. Um, people being away for the long weekend, people trying to get away before school starts. Um, in September though, the floodgates opened again and things were extremely busy. So in September, there were 390 homes sold and that's up 49% from August to September of this year. So the demand has come back up uh, in full swing there. And on the other end of things, looking at the active listings, which is the other variable used to calculate months of inventory, um, it's up as well, not quite 50%, um, but we had 366 active listings in September. So that's up about 10% from August to September. Um, and for months of inventory to move towards that four to six month mark and be in more of a balanced market, we need either the sales activity or the demand to lower, or we need active listings or the supply to rise. The good news is new listings are hitting the market at a very rapid pace right now. So we had 525 new listings in September and that's 65% more than in August. So there's a lot of new listings out there, which is good because it should mean that it's pushing more towards a balanced market, um, which will start to eliminate some of the crazy uh, bidding wars and competition going on right now. Um, but right now we are still seeing a lot of competition. We are still seeing a strong seller's market at less than one month of inventory. Um, and what it's doing is it's causing prices to rise. So taking a look at average price in September of this year, it was just over $910,000 for Burlington. Um, and that's up 18% year over year. So all in all, we are still seeing a very strong seller's market. Um, we're going to continue to look at months of inventory moving forward because it's a good indication of what type of market we're in. And then we can break down the numbers from there. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, please let us know. We're happy to help and have a good day. See ya.